tail. He's probably been in a few scraps. There he is. There you go, buddy. Sick. Yeah, if you just pull to the side of the road, we'll drive right by. Oh, don't, don't, don't outrace him. Oh, you just scare him. Well, he's not too scared. He's still running. Well, I think if he was really scared, he'd go off into the bush, so... <laughs> he stopped for breakfast. Oh, I thought this would follow the windshield wipers. Bushwhacking. <laughs> Looking at my phone and I just looked up and there it was. <laughs> so that was a one, one and a half. And that was not what I was expecting at all. Because the name of the cache is Lake Namagasi Turnaround. And it's just basically a big cement thing you can turn around your vehicle and move off or stop and take a rest and I was expecting it to be right on the side it's a one one and a half I mean the one yeah I looked up and there it was but still cool seeing the fox running ahead of us as we were coming out from the back road from our last adventure and now we're off to another one and we hope you join us here on Cash Canada just received a notification on Facebook about uh, where we're going that there could be some flooding and uh, dangerous high waters. Ontario Power Generation is uh, suggesting people stay away or uh, exercise extreme caution. So we're going to drive up and take a look. If it doesn't work out, it just means it's an hour up and an hour back. So uh, this could be a big adventure or could be a bust. Yep, we're back at Moonbeam and we've got to come and do uh, something for an adventure lab. But I thought while we're here, we had better rectify the last time we visited. We didn't take our picture with us touching the flying saucer, which was a requirement. So we're going to make sure we got that done so we don't get our logs deleted. Always read the description of a geocache. And when you're in Moonbeam doing the virtual or getting the answer for the Adventure Lab, if the shop is open, don't forget to come in and say hello. Howdy, buddy. left Highway 11 now and are heading north on Highway 634. It'll be about an hour before we get to the power generating station and the dam that we need to cross in order to get to the earth cache that we're after. So uh, sit back and relax. Uh, we'll get you there 
before the hour it takes us. We're approaching the dam and all it says is safety booms are not installed stay clear of the dam that means don't get close to the water right okay so we're going to cross the dam safely across. Now it's all gravel for 25 kilometers. Hey, look where I am. Well, that's pretty cool. The 50th parallel. We made it. Yeah, I don't think we've never driven up that far. <laughs> In Ontario, that is. It's a little narrower. Yay! Scrape! So ends our attempt at the first to find to this earth cache. <sighs> if I had a four wheel drive vehicle, it would be something else. This van can go through a lot and has done us well, but there is no way. I'm risking going into that to get stuck and not have any service to call for help. How did the van fare? Well, not too bad. We'll call them battle scars. They'll buff out. <laughs> Can we huff it? Well, no, because you see, it's it's two kilometers almost to the turn, yeah, and then another two kilometers to oh. the where the trailhead is. 
never mind, uh, you know, whatever, but... Ah, jeez. And there's no way we can get through that. No, it looks like a, it's a partition there or a dam or something. Well, yeah, there's a beaver lodge just over here. Oh, And it okay. looks like he's extended his, his pond over the road. <laughs> that would explain it. Yeah, yeah, so all of that stuff right there isn't just the water pushing over. It's the, it's the damn beaver. Oh. It's, sorry, it's not the damn beaver. It's the beaver dam. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just flooding, but it's a beaver dam. Damn! Okay. There's a dam there! Oh, so close. Uh, but we don't have waders. There's no way we and, could get through that because we'd, yeah, we'd need if waders. We had, if we had a four-wheel drive Jeep, we could probably do I don't know how do deep it. that is, know. though, because if, if the beaver's well, done it's that. Not that... it's not that deep, but you don't know what the bottom's like. That's well, the that's thing. the thing. Yeah. There's no way I'm going in that with it, with this van, so. No, we'd just have to call CAA. Son of a... Oh, man. Can you... And then, yeah, the walk out. Yeah. To get service. 30 kilometers. Yeah, there's no Just service. to get service. Like, oh, my God. Do you know what? <sighs> I think it's time for a cup of coffee and a cup of tea. Yeah, I think we're going to set up in an open spot down the road. Make dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the disappointment. It's palpable. I could oh, just. We're so close. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks, beavers. <sighs> the CEO is going to be really disappointed. <laughs> she was watching our progress. Well, we'll it looks like we'll have to try in uh, like the late, late in the season, like fall, November, September, <laughs> to come back up here and see it just but like no, that again. <laughs> Hey, let's use a rental, a Jeep. <laughs> well, I think right there we need a canoe. Yeah. Oh, that'd be an idea. We'd bring the canoe, canoe across. <laughs> <laughs>